In this little PHP lesson series, we will introduce beginners to flat file database systems using simple .txt text files to store, change, and display dynamic data, much like you would use a MySQL database to do those same things. Now, this would be applied when a MySQL database is not available for use, or would be overkill to use for a tiny application. In this first lesson, we will show two methods of how a PHP programmer can call in external data from a text file. First, let's take a quick look at the .txt file that you're going to have to create before you try and run this PHP code. So you can see the file I have is named file1.txt, and you can clearly see the text that I have within it. Now in later lessons, I'm going to show you guys how to allow your clients to change this text, add line breaks, and other things like that. But for now, we're just going to show you how to get this one little string brought into the PHP script so that we can access it, display it, or whatever. But this is the text file that you want to have file1.txt and you can put any text that you want within it. Like I said, if you want line breaks, that's going to be in a later lesson. I'm going to go into a lot of different things about all this. Here's my file.php, which could be any PHP file on your server. I'm going to open up PHP code block. Now inside that code block, we're going to add some code to bring in the data within this text file and display it in this file.php page. Now the first method I show you is not as effective as the second method because the second method will allow you to manipulate the data and potentially put it back into the file adjusted. This first method I'm about to show you is only really for displaying the data that's within the file. You really can't adjust it or anything like that unless you get it into a variable form, which the second method shows. Okay, so let's pop in the code and I'll explain it to you real quick. It's very simple. What we have here is an if condition statement and inside of that if condition statement, if it meets true, then this code will run. So the if condition says, if the file exists, which we're using the file exists function in PHP to see if the file one.txt is actually on the server. Now sometimes you may want to run this if file exists function if condition statement because if the file's not there and is not found, it'll render an error to the script. Sometimes if you try to include a file, this include function will render an error for you if that file's not found. So basically, if the file exists, then you want to include it once into this page, file1.txt. And whatever line that you run this if condition on, that is where the text will display if you use this method one. Method two I'm going to show you has it set up into a variable form so you can echo the variable anywhere you want. But you can include this anywhere you want in your page as well. So now let's press control S, save this and put it on the server and see what output we get. Okay, so here's my page when it was empty. Now I put that little bit of code in it. Now let me refresh it. And here's my text that came in from the file1.txt file. So now let's demonstrate method number two. Okay, so here's method two for checking if the file exists first and then grabbing the file contents, whatever's in the file, the string data, and putting it into a variable called myData. So once you use the file get contents function on that path or on that file name, then all of the string data within that file gets placed into this my data variable so you can echo that out wherever you want. For instance, you can echo it right here, my data. And then let's put that on the server and see what we get. All right, now let me refresh and I really should see no difference because it's just going to bring the string data in similarly to the way that method number 1 did. But I think method number two is the preferred method, for me anyways, because I like having my the contents of that file, the string data, put into a variable. That way I can echo it out anywhere on the page that I want. For instance, if I remove this and I have HTML tags here, so let's say I have a regular page where I have like my HTML and my body tag there like normal. We can just put in a PHP code block and then we'll echo that data right there close off the block and that way it'll be in your body section and you can say hello world on top of it add break tag now let's see what that gives us alright let's refresh the file you can see it brings it in exactly like it did before but this time if we view the page source you'll see that there's the body tag the HTML and all that stuff okay so that's method number two for getting the file contents out of a text file that you're going to use as a flat file database you also have method number one, which is the include method, or you can require. Require and include act similarly in PHP, those, both of those functions. And include once and require once are just variations of those functions where 
the file contents can only come once into the page. But you can use include, you can use require, or you can use include once or require once. It'll all work. Now throughout this series I'm going to be showing you how to do different kind of things like make sure that there can be line breaks within this text file that the client may be adjusting. Adding this uh, my data variable to an HTML form text area to allow the client to actually get in and change it. So once you get this variable here, you can put this into an HTML form text area. And once they, once you put that data into that text area, the client then has the ability to change that data up. And then I'm going to show you how to save that data into the text file called file1.txt, sort of using it as a database for dynamic content. So stay tuned for lesson number two.